Hi, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls. And today we're gonna take you on the journey of figuring out what to do with this boring white wall behind us. We've definitely heard your comments. We know it's kind of plain. And you guys are like, this is so not the Sorry Girls approved. We're gonna take you behind the scenes as we figure out what to DIY on this wall and also install some studio backdrops so that we have background options when filming our videos. Before we get too much further, we want to thank Lenovo for sponsoring this video and sending us this sweet Lenovo yoga book. We can't wait to show you all the features that are packed into this little guy and how it's going to help us bring this whole wall together. For this video, we're going to take you behind the scenes and show you some of our process and where we're going to start with coming up with an idea for this DIY. So we take ideas from Pinterest, Instagram, trends, things we see out in the world. I actually saw a nail art in a store and I would love to recreate it with our logo. But we also need to figure out how to do nail art on a wall, but make it temporary. The Lenovo Yoga Book is an amazing tablet and an overall tool in like all things creation for us. The Halo keyboard responds so much better than typing directly on a tablet screen, and the keyboard is way less clunky than a travel keyboard that you would have to add on to any other tablet. This is only here when we need it. Now that we have some ideas, we're gonna sketch them out. We're able to use our yoga book to take a photo and bring it into art range, and then we can use the real pen stylus tip to draw over the photo and sketch out some of our ideas. You know what they say, sketch twice, DIY once. We wanna make sure that we're really sure of our idea before we go out and spend money on supplies. So if you haven't already gathered, prep is the most important part of a DIY project to ensure a smooth assembly. The last step is to make a list. We do this for every single DIY without fail, and today we're using the yoga book and our real pen in ink mode. AKA we're switching out the stylus for ink in our pen, and then making our list and digitizing our notes into Notesaver. This is a slightly more streamlined list making method than that mess over there. All right, so we've gathered our supplies. For the accent wall, we decided to go with foam core instead of wood. We went for roofing nails, which are shorter but have a large head. And lastly, we printed our logo design as large as we wanted. You can use a poster rasterizing website to help you do this. We taped our design together to create one large image. We taped it in place and cut out our foam core to the right size. We're doubling up on foam core to make sure our nails have enough room to sit in. Now it's time to get nailing. Push the nails into the foam and trace around the entire image. It's that easy. Once our logo is fully traced, carefully rip out the paper from under the nails. We tried to rip out the paper to the side instead of straight up so we didn't pull out the nails. We love how this turned out and since our final product was pretty light, hanging it was super easy. We used wall safe velcro strips, added one strip on each corner of the logo and then with the sticky side exposed, we pressed the nail art onto the wall and you're all done. So here's the supplies we gathered for our photo backdrops. We picked up three curtain rods. The curtain rod hanging system was from Ikea and we will link it below. We also got four heavyweight bearing drywall plugs. We measured out where we want the rods to hang and screwed the brackets into the wall with the wall plugs. This curtain rod system has the option to add on up to three rods so we made sure to add enough hooks for all three. Here are the two fabrics we picked up, a crushed velvet grey and a champagne of sequins. We rolled out our fabric and placed one of the curtain rods on top. Using some strong tape, we taped the end of the fabric in place. We hung the rod on the curtain hooks and began to twist the rod. Our fabric rolled up neatly and it's ready to use. Our final supply was this roll of white seamless paper. We taped the end of it onto the remaining curtain rod the same way we did the fabric. We found this one easier to roll up on the ground and then we added it onto the curtain hooks. Binder clips can be used to keep your rolls neat when you're not using them. We love how this whole wall came together and can't wait to use it in upcoming videos. so much for joining us on today's journey in DIYing some decor for this wall behind us. We're so happy with how our hanging backdrop turned out. It was so inexpensive and super easy to do. It's a great addition to our studio and you'll be able to spot it in all of the videos coming up. And if you're a photographer or a videographer, definitely give this one a try. Thanks again to Lenovo for collaborating with us on this video and for our new yoga books. We've never had a tablet before and you guys really showed us that we were missing out this entire time. Let us know what three colors you would choose for the backdrops. Seriously, the struggle was real when we went to the fabric store to try and choose. And we're so down to switch them out soon for new videos. So let us know what we should do. If you guys like this video, make sure that you actually like it by giving it a thumbs up. And if you loved this video, make sure you actually subscribe it because we want to grow the fam and that way you don't miss out on videos that we're making. All right, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.
And before you go, make sure you check out the other creators in this Lenovo series. Some talented people in this, so make sure you watch their videos. I too. promise you will love them.